ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா ஹாய் எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் வெல்கம் டு இன்டர்வியூ கொஸ்டின்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆன்சர்ஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு சில நேம் ஆட்டோமேஷன் ஃப்ரேம் ஒர்க் லெட்ஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் லெட்ஸ் சி த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் What is framework? Framework defines a set of rules, best practices that we can follow in a systematic way to achieve the desired results. Framework refers to a structured environment or a platform that provides a set of predefined guidelines, libraries, tools, reusable component to support the development or testing process. There are many different type of frameworks available. The most common are data driven framework, keyword driven framework, hybrid testing framework, behavioral driven frameworks, modular frameworks. Let's see each framework in detail. First one is data driven testing framework. A data driven testing framework is a testing approach that separates a test data from the test script. It allows the tester to create an automated test that can be executed with a different set of data, enabling the testing of multiple scenarios without modifying the underlying test logic. In a data driven testing framework test scripts are designed to read the input from the external sources such as spreadsheet database or csv files the test scripts are then executed iteratively each time using a different set of test data now let's see the details of keyword driven testing framework a keyword driven testing framework is a automation testing approach that focuses on separating a test steps and test data from underlying automation code it allows tester to create a test using a set of keywords or actions which are associated with the automation code to perform the set of operations these test steps are represented by a keyword that describe the desired action such as click input verify navigate login and most of these test cases are created in a tabular formats in the spreadsheet or specialized tools keyword driven testing framework uh, includes a mapping mechanism that associate each keyword with a corresponding automation code mapping is uh, done by a separate configuration file or within automation code itself when executing the test cases the framework reads the keyword and test data from the spreadsheet then calls the appropriate automation functions to perform the required actions next is the hybrid driven testing framework hybrid driven testing framework is a combination of multiple testing approaches or frameworks such as data driven testing framework or keyword driven testing framework to leverage their respective benefits and create a more flexible and powerful automation testing solution in a hybrid testing framework testers integrate different testing techniques and framework to build a robust and comprehensive test suite the next one is a behavior driven testing framework it's also called bdd in agile software development methodology that focuses on collaboration among the stakeholders like including developers testers business analysts and customers bdd aims to align business goals and technical implementation and testing through a clear communication and shared understanding BTD introduces a common language or a structure format for defining and documenting the expected behavior of the system. It's called as feature files. These feature files typically written in a event readable format in a jargon syntax, given when then format. that facilitates a collaboration and clarity with the requirement between all the stakeholders of the agile teams. Let's move on to the next question. Why framework A framework supports a structured environment or a platform that provides a set of predefined guidelines, libraries, tools, a reusable components to support the development and testing process. So basically a framework defines a set of rules or best practices that we can follow in a systematic way to achieve a desired results. As we are using multiple open source tools like Selenium, Java, Extend Report, Allure Report, SNG, Cooper, Apache Pi, some other third party libraries to automate the test cases, a framework enables a tester to create a reusable components, libraries, functions that can be shared across the multiple test cases. and projects this reduces the duplications improve the maintainability and enhances efficiency in the script development let's move to the next question what are the advantages of test automation framework there are many advantages of test automation framework i have listed few of them here framework enforces the reusability of the code across the automation development process it provides the maximum coverage there is no manual intervention is needed if you have the a good automation framework in place which has support to the ca cd and grid automation framework provides better and uniform reporting and logging across the automation code automation framework supports easy of maintenance it supports a cross browser and cross platform supports and with a automation framework we can easily integrate with 
CACD pipelines and the last but not the least advantage of test automation framework is that it enforces the collaboration and standardization across the automation development process. Let's see the next question. Have you created any test automation framework? This is a tricky interview question. We should be careful while providing answer to this type of interview questions. If you are a beginner or a fresher, you can tell that I didn't get a chance to create an automation framework, but I used a framework which is already available in our company. If you are an experienced tester and do you are really involved in creating the automation framework, then you can say that yes, I have created automation framework or you can also say that I did create an automation framework from the scratch, but there is already a framework available, but I involved in the smaller announcements to the existing framework. Next question, explain in the selenium automation framework which you used in your project we need to explain every component of automation framework based on the below screenshot we basically need to specify in and out of test automation framework such as programming language used type of framework used how we initialize web driver and implicit weights in the test base class how we separate element locators on the test using page object and page factory utility function classes property files test engine annotations how we parameterize the test using excel files how we capture the error screenshot generating report using extend report or allow report emailing reports to the stakeholders version control used and continuous integration tools used in our automation test framework. Let's see the details of each and every point. First, we can start with the language. We can say that in our Selenium automation framework, we are using Java as a coding language to develop our automation framework to develop our automation test scripts. Then we can explain about the type of framework used. We are using data driven framework by using page object model design pattern with page factory. We can give details of the page object model. As per the page object model, we have maintained a class for every web page. Each web page has a separate class and that class holds the functionality and members of that web page. And also we have separate classes for each individual group of test cases. We can also explain about the package structure of our framework. You can say that we have a separate package for pages and also tests. All the web page related classes comes under the pages package and all the tests related classes comes under the test package. We can give a few examples like home page or login page have a separate classes to store the element locators and also for login test there would be a separate class which calls the method from the home page class and login page class. In fact we should have started by explaining about the project structure. We can say that all the test classes we are keeping under src test java package and all other remaining files such as config.properties element locators, object classes, utility classes, test data, and listeners, everything we keep it under src main java. Then we can go into details of each and every package, class, and explain what we have done in within that class. We can start with the test base class. You can say that test base class contains all the common functions used by all the pages. This class is responsible for loading the configurations from the properties file, initializing the web driver, initializing the implicit weight, extend reports, and also create the object for file input string, which is responsible for pointing towards the files from which data should be read. Then we can explain all the classes which are present in the utility package. We have a separate classes to handle the functions which is repetitive in nature such as weights, actions, capturing screenshot, reading the data from Excel using Apache Pi, sending emails, date and time utils, and some other common functions which can be used across the framework will go into this package. The reason behind creating a utility class is to achieve the reusability. Then we can explain about the properties file. Properties file stores the information that remains static throughout the framework such as browser information, application URLs, login credentials, screenshot path will be kept in config.properties file. So keeping these details separate in a config file makes it easy to maintain. Screenshots. Screenshots will be captured and stored in the separate folder and also the screenshot of failed test case will be added to the extent report. Then we can explain about the test data package. All the historical data which will be kept in the Excel sheet and we pass the test data and handle data driven testing with the help of Apache Pi APIs. Then we can explain about the TestNG framework. We are using TestNG for assertion, grouping and parallel execution. 
Finally, we need to explain about the Maven, version control tools, Jenkins, and reporting framework. We are using Maven for build, execution, and dependency purpose. And we are using Git as a repository to store our test script. And we are also using Jenkins CI tool to run the test case on a daily basis. Also for nightly executions based on the schedule. Test results will be sent to the peers using Jenkins. Extent report. We are using extent report for reporting purpose. Which generates a beautiful HTML report. Which includes the complete summary of the test case passed, failed. Along with the screenshot of a failed test case. It also includes the pie chart. Which shows the summary of the execution results. Let's see the next question. Why do you prefer Selenium Automation Tool? We can answer to this question saying, I prefer Selenium Automation Tool because of some of the following advantages. First one, Selenium is free and open source tool. Second benefit is that it has large community support, makes it easier for testers to find resources, tutorial and help whenever it's needed. And third benefit is that Selenium supports almost all the browsers like Firefox, Chrome, IE and Safari. The fourth advantage is that it supports multiple platforms like Windows, Linux, Mac. Fifth advantage of Selenium is that it supports multiple languages like Java, Python, Perl, PHP, C Sharp, Ruby. The sixth advantage of Selenium Automation Tool is that it supports parallel execution. We can use the Selenium Grid to support the parallel execution of Selenium scripts. Last but not the least advantage of Selenium Automation Tool is continuous integration. Selenium seamlessly integrates with the continuous integration tools like Jenkins, Bamboo and TeamCity. Thereby it enables the continuous testing and delivery of the products. Let's move on to the next question. What is page object model design pattern? Page object model is a widely used design pattern in Selenium for enhancing the test maintenance and reducing the code to page. In page object model, each web page has a separate class. That class holds the functionality and members of that page. Page object model can be used in any kind of framework such as modular, data-driven, keyword-driven and hybrid-driven frameworks. A page object model is an object-oriented class that serves as interface to the page of the application under test. The test classes then use these methods of the page object class whenever they need to interact with the user interface of the page. The benefits of this page object model is that whenever there's a change in the UI for that page, the actual test scripts, they don't need to change anything. Only the code within the page object model needs to be changed. Subsequently, all the changes to support that new UI is located at one place in the page object classes. Next question, what is page factory? In a page object model, each web page has a separate class and that class holds the functionality and members of that page in the application. A page factory is a way of implementing a page object model. A page factory is used to initialize the web element whenever we create an instance of that page object class. Usually that the instance will be created by a test class whenever it wants to interact with that page object. Next question, what is the difference between page object model and page factory? Page object is a class that represents a web page and holds the functionality and, and members of that page. A page factory is a way of implementing a page object model. A page factory is used to initialize the web element whenever we create an instance of that page object class. Usually that the instance will be created by a test class whenever it wants to interact with that page object. Let's move to the next question. What are the advantages of page object model framework? We know that there are many advantages of page object model framework. Let's see a few of them here. First one is code reusability. We could achieve the code reusability by writing the code once and use it at different test cases. The second advantage is the code maintainability. There is a clear separation between the test code and the page specific code such as locator and layout which makes easy to maintain the code. We need to change only page object classes whenever there is a change in the UI. It enhances test maintenance and reduces the code duplication. The third advantage of page object model is object repository. Each page will be defined as a Java class. All the fields in this page will be defined in an interface as members. Then page object class will implement this interface. It acts as a page object repository. 
The fourth advantage of page object model is readability. Page object model improves the readability due to clean separation between the test code and space specific code. Let's move to the next question. What are the concepts of OOPs used in the slay name automation framework? We applied following OOPs concepts in the automation framework. First one is the abstraction, then interface, inheritance, polymorphism, and encapsulation. Let's see the details of how we use these concepts in the Selenium Automation Framework. First one is the abstraction. Abstraction is generally a methodology of hiding the implementation of internal details and showing the functionality to the users. In a page object model design pattern, we write the locator such as ID, name, XPath, ETC and the methods in a page class. We utilize these locators in a test class but we cannot see the implementation of the methods. Literally, we hide the implementation of locators from the test. The second hook concept we use is the interface statement we all know that we use webdriver driver is a good new firefox driver or a chrome driver to initialize the browser so detailed explanation of why we write this statement is that webdriver is an interface we are initializing a firefox browser using selenium webdriver it means that we are creating a reference variable of driver of the interface webdriver and creating an object for class firefox driver here webdriver is interface and firefox is a class the next oops concept we used is inheritance in inheritance one class acquires the properties and functionalities of the other class in our automation framework we create a base class to initialize the webdriver interface webdriver weights property files, excels, etc in the base class. We extend the base class into other classes such as test classes and utility classes. Hence, we are using an inheritance concept to extend one class, a base class, into a other class. The next concept we used in our Selenium automation framework is polymorphism. Polymorphism allows us to perform the task in a multiple ways. It can be a combination of method overloading or method overriding. Sit wait is an example of method overloading. Here we use the wait dot until and expected conditions. A same method which accepts different arguments and different conditions required by the test case. We also use the method overloading concept in implicit weight where we use the different timestamps like second minutes hours and also we use the method overloading concepts in actions and also assert classes. In method overriding, we use a method which was already implemented in other, another class by changing its parameter. Declaring a method in a child class which is already present in the parent class is called method overriding. Examples are get and navigate methods of different drivers in Selenium. The last but the, not the least Oops concept we used is the encapsulation. As we knew that encapsulation is a mechanism of binding code and data together in a single unit. All the classes in a framework are example of encapsulation. In a POM classes, we declare the data members using at find by annotation and initialization of data members will be done using the constructor to utilize those in the methods. Let's move on to the next question. What is web element, web driver, find by and side element? Web element is an interface used to identify the elements in a web page. Web driver is again an interface used to launch a different browser such as Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer, Safari. Find by is an annotation used in a page object model design pattern to identify the elements. Find element is a method in a page object model to identify the elements in a web page. Web element is interface. Web driver is an interface. Find by is an annotation. Find element is a method. Thanks for watching.